Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video for you guys because this is probably like the most content lens I've tried within a day, okay? And it is all on the same collection. These are the Harper Christine A to Z Christine. And the way they have promoted it is that this contact lens would be great to introduce you guys to contact lens, especially to the brand itself, because it has a whole range of diameter sizes up to six different sizes, as well as a whole range of quantities that you can purchase from a pair to 10 pairs, uh, 10 pieces, 20 pieces, 30 pieces, and monthly contact lenses as well. And I put all the infos right here so you guys can see the prices and the quantities and the options you can have because I can't remember them on the top of my head. I find this really interesting because I really like that they have released one particular collection slash design slash color but it has a range of diameter sizes starting from 12.4 to 13.9 millimeter, which I think is crazy because yeah, like it is awesome for me as well as a person that use contact lens often to actually see the differences in terms of the diameter because usually I would use between like 13.0 to 13.3 millimeter and that's it. I don't really go for any higher or lower um, most of the time but using these contact lenses I was like contemplating I'm like mm, maybe I do like other sizes as well. The design is nothing too unique i would say it is unique enough to try as a contact lens because obviously if you're a beginner you will already find this contact lens really special in terms of the color in terms of the design the color is brown color but also have a combination of brown and hazel and i like that it has your typical border where you have the dark border on the outside you go in it has a bit of a spikiness to it as well and a little bit of hazel which i find really really your normal but special at the same time you know what i mean and going back to when i first tried contact lens this would be the type of contact lens i would go for and honestly it was the first contact lens that i tried in terms of the design i was given this particular design contact lens i can't remember what brand i think it was the candy I think it was a Candy EOS collection and it was like a go-to contact lens to try, you know? And I was like, you know what? It really brings me back some memories in terms of this design and I absolutely, absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm not complaining in terms of the design. The way they have categorized this diameter is that they have two small sizes, two medium sizes and two large sizes. We're going to start with the first one, which is 12.4 millimeter. This 12.4 millimeter, I would say that this is my actual eye size you know what i mean like i put it on i'm like okay yeah this is my eye size i see nothing special to it i see the whole content lens i see the full circle that's how it looked like for me so it's definitely like my actual eye size you know because everyone has different eye sizes but i think 12.4 is probably mine next one up is 12.7 and this is actually jang Wen young go to diameter size which I actually was surprised because I thought hers would be like 13.3 just because like her eyes looked really big you know but interestingly like her size is actually 12.7 and when I put this on I was like actually you know what I actually don't mind the size because it is like I would say the beginning of an enlargement effect but not really you know like you can still see the full circle on the eyes which I think is really beautiful but it's a little bit little bit larger than the 12.4 then you go up to the medium size and the first one is 13.0 millimeter this is where you can start to see that the circle is starting to disappear a little bit where the top and bottom is slowly getting cut off on my eyes and that's when I know the enlargement is happening you know what I mean and that's how I see it and then 13.3 would be my go-to diameter size and don't know how to explain to you but this is like my perfect enlargement size for me because as you see the enlargement effect but also at the same time i'm comfortable with it i feel like it's very natural on me so that is like my go-to and i'm really happy that i have found my go-to diameter size and i guess that's why having this a to z Kristen is good for you guys to see what are your comfortable size to go to so i'm really glad that 13.3 is still is my go-to size 
even when I tried this, I was like, yes, I am very, very happy with this diameter size. Then the last two is the large effect. The first one is 13.6 and this is where you can definitely start to see the differences because suddenly everything just looked larger than before for me. And I still see the full circle, but I don't really see. I just see that it's getting like wider on my eye and my white eyeball, white eye is like slowly starting to disappear. Oh! Hello! Got a special guest here, let's finish off the video. Last but not least is actually what I'm wearing right now, which is 13.9mm, which is the largest in their collection. And to be honest with you, when I put this on, I'm like, okay, what is the difference between the 13.6 and 13.9? Because I think by this point, I was like, yeah, it's really big in my eyes. However, I do notice because I think it's so big, I'm starting to feel the dryness on my eye as well as a little bit of blur effect for me, like in terms of like sight wise. So I wouldn't say this would be a comfortable sizing for me. I think my max would be like 13.6 and that's the cap, you know, like I wouldn't even go for 13.9 because it's obviously a little bit too big for me. Those are the sizing of the A to Z Christine collection. I will also end this video of how all of the contact lens look like side by side. Hopefully I can edit it really nicely for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are interested in trying this contact lens and whether you will actually you know try different sizing that you haven't tried before and also i would also like play around with in terms of the sizing as well because as i was exploring the contact lens there was a point where i actually put a 12.7 millimeter on one eye and a 13.0 millimeter on the other eye and they both look really nice side by side maybe because I do have one eye that is smaller than the other so maybe there's something you guys can think about where you can play around with the sizing depending on your eyes you don't need to necessarily wear the same diameter on both eyes as well I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys enjoy this video but yeah I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys bye bye Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.